Hello and welcome to a new video on Design Studio by the Solar Labs. Today we will learn in depth about models, different types, their actions and uses. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I will be drawing on a shed. Find models menu on the top left corner of the sidebar. Select polygon option. There are two ways in which you can draw your polygon. First is by joining the edges of the rooftop. It will automatically snap at 90 degree. You can also select the polygon using the shortcut key P on your keyboard. So the second way of drawing the polygon is hitting the tab key on your keyboard while drawing to mention the exact distance. On the right hand side you can access the action menu to delete and on the top bar you have the button undo to save yourself from any mistakes. On the bottom right you have the properties menu. Give your shed a height and since it is a shed you should give a tilt and update the value of azimuth. Finally, before hitting the update, make sure you mark it placeable because you want to place panels on this roof. Now you can see some obstacles on the top rooftop. It is not clear because of the blue selection. Press the button X on the keyboard to access the X-ray function. Now that will remove all the selection that you have made so far. Pressing X again will bring back all the selections back. Select the polygon from the models menu and let's draw out the obstacles. I will draw it on the side to get a clearer picture. Then I will drag and drop it over the obstacle. If you go to the bottom left corner and access the layers menu, you can choose to show or hide the arc, dimension and other features as well. We will go ahead and update the dimensions to fit it perfectly. Click on that value change the value and then hit enter. Now let's change the properties of the obstacles also. Remember to keep the tilt and azimuth as the same values as to the roof that we have already drawn before. If you have more than one obstacle, you can just copy paste using the options Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Also, if you press R, you can access the repeat function while pasting and mention a number and you can place objects in bulk. On the sidebar, access Dimension 2. It allows you to place or measure obstacles from the side of the roof. So let's put all the obstacles in a symmetry and in a specific dimension value. To draw the cylindrical object, select the cylinder option from the models menu. Click on the center of the obstacle and then hit the button tab to mention the radius. On the right hand side, change the height. If you have more than one obstacle, you can just copy paste using the options Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Access Dimension 2. It allows you to place or measure obstacles from the side of the roof. So let's put all the obstacles in a symmetry and in a specific dimension value. Let's go ahead and fill the panels now. Select the rooftop and then hit fill face button on the right. It will automatically place panels. There is another way in which you can fill the panels. Select the rooftop and hit the button F which is also the shortcut key for fill fill. The right hand side of the studio is divided into three. Summary, Action and Properties. It is also known as SAP section. S -A -P. The summary will give you the details like subarray, panels, size, etc. Then comes the Actions menu. So, Let's go ahead and optimize this. So to optimize, click on one panel, select subarray, then optimize. 
there is a slider provided using which you can remove the panels that is not giving efficient output it will remove the lowest to highest efficient panel in that order the other methods include mentioning the system size or the threshold value which will remove all the panels which follow below it let's close that and add some tables manually click on the add table function and place it wherever you want to go back to the previous fill phase and do changes again you can access the repeat function the next is properties menu from the template choose flush mount or fixed mount since it's a shed we will choose flush mount you can choose panels either by the make or its size tilt and azimuth values will be the same as our sheds you can change the row and table spacing also choose between landscape or portrait table orientation i'll show you now as you can see both the sides of the shed is same the design studio has a feature called mirror copy the object using control c and then paste it using control v then press m on your keyboard and after that select the edge where you want to enable the mirror mode as you can see the object is been mirrored the project summary details once again let's add inverters now select it either by its make or size then put in the quantity that is required so that you will bring down the load ratio to the expected levels and then click add you can see that our load ratio is now at the expected level let's go ahead and save the project now it's time to add walkways on the shed go to models menu select walkways click and drag from one corner to the other zoom in for a better view let's delete it and i will show you the second way you can select walkway the shortcut for walkway is the key w on your keyboard click and drag from one corner to the other and then change the position zoom in for a better view You can change the length of the walkway just click on the value and add in manually the needed value On the right hand side you have the properties that can be changed If you want to change the direction of the walkway use this function called toggle direction and get it done Use the function control C and control V to copy and paste the walkway to the other side of the roof. Let's go ahead and save the project. Let's view this in 3D. Go to the views menu, select 3D and you can view that. Once this is done, you can also choose to place trees around the building. So let's go to the models menu select the tree option and draw it out at the desired location mention the girth of the trunk and the crown you can change the height properties on the right hand side let's view this in 3D go to the views menu select 3D and you can view that thank you for joining me have a nice day